Hey, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4 and today, people, I want to talk about one of the biggest tragedies that happened in Florida. If you guys did not know, a few days ago, there was a Madden NFL tournament going on, which ended up being shot up, and uh, there was around 3 deaths and 10 injured, which is pretty sad because their family members are not going to be scarred for life because of this situation, which could have been prevented by the person himself who pretty much caused this tragedy. And also, the reason why I want to talk about this is because the media lately for sure are going to be blaming video games and they're going to be like, okay, you know, video games causes violence. Which is not true. It's been going on for years. This battle has been going on since the freaking 90s, you know, especially since the Doom era. And it's just not true. It's just not true, especially with a Madden NFL game. What is the guy going to do? Kill people with footballs? You can't do that. So I know the media like CNN and NBC are going to be pushing like this kind of stuff, which is ridiculous. And I, w I really want to talk about this. So in my opinion, a way this couldn't have been prevented is if the guy himself, the guy who caused the shot, the shoot up, you know, if he would have thought that, hey, you know, I'm one of the most recognizable players in the, in the this Madden genre. You know, I'm one of the top players. I can do this again later on. And I know this because video games have infinite amount of tries. If you lose one, you can play again and maybe win the next one. Especially at his level. He can probably win every single game afterwards. But he ended up being one of the biggest sore losers and caused one of the biggest tragedies in Florida. Which is completely stupid, really. is He just should have thought about that. He should have thought that, hey, I'm playing a fantasy game. This is not worth taking the risk of taking people's lives. You know, this just shouldn't be worth it. Maybe it's worth a lot of money. Maybe he did waste a lot of money getting there. But to be honest, he should have thought twice about his, his situation and just move on. But he didn't do that. He's just one of the biggest sore losers out there. And I've seen it all, too. I've seen those kinds of situations, too, where people are super angry because they lost the game. Because they think they're the best and, you know, they can't move on from it. And I've seen it. You know, I played Madden tournaments too. I'm person to person. You know, I played at GameStop. I played at Walmart. And uh, these people move on. You know, they move on because they know they can try again. They're one of the top players in the Valley. They're one of the top players in the game. So they know they can win the next one. But for some reason, this guy, he just took it to heart and just killed everybody inside. So um, it's just personal actions. This had nothing to do with a video game at all. It's just personal actions. He was just a sore loser. That's the truth. But for some reason, CNN and NBC are going to be saying like, oh, it's a video game. Man, men in NFL don't cause any kind of violence. It doesn't cause any kind of violence at all. It's a football game for God's sakes. So like I said, like unless you want to kill someone with a football, then maybe you can't can relate it to Madden. But Madden doesn't teach you how to kill people with a football. It doesn't. It teaches you how to tackle, you know, maybe like a little bit. You can like kind of imitate the actions, but... In no way, shape, or form can Madden cause a tragedy like this. So, um, so yeah, like, rest in peace to those people who passed away during this tragedy. This should have never happened. And, of course, you will always be remembered. And there were pe the people in the community for the Madden community will always remember you. Even the company itself. Even though E has been shady as hell for the past year, they still recognize some of their top players, which is good. You know, at least they have some heart. And, um... So, yeah, man, some people say that the killer was part of the KKK, you know, some something about Reddit. I'm like, it's not 100 percent confirmed, you know, I'm not pushing for any kind of racial kind of tension here. But um, that's if that's true, then maybe it, it could be. But in my opinion, I don't know. I just I won't go with that new source. All I'm going to say is that, in my opinion, he might have been mental. He might have been. You know, into this mental state, like, I, I have to win all the damn time. You know, I'm crazy, you know. <laughs> and I know people are going to be saying, like, Joe, you're just saying that because he's white. Like, no, I'm not. This has to do with a mental state. It has nothing to do with a crime he wanted to commit. It's not something that he had planned. It looked like he just snapped because maybe he might have been, you know, trash talking the game earlier. Or maybe he just took it to heart, like I said, and created one of the biggest salty, you know, moments in his life. He just didn't want to take the loss. So it has to do something with the mental state of him. And it was not caused by Madden. It's, it's his choice. So anyways, this is the end of the video. If you guys got any opinions about the situation, leave it in the comment section. I'll read it later. And just one more thing, guys. You know, video games is just a fantasy land that gives you infinite amount of tries in a certain situation. And you can do it over and over again. You don't gain anything. You don't lose anything in real life. 
it's just a fantasy land that we use to stay away from the media that kind of push war and politics into us. And I don't want to see any of that. That's why I play video games. That's the truth. So that is it. Leave a like on the video and I'll see you guys later.